The CDC now says in most situations, fully vaccinated people don't need to wear a mask or physically distance outside or inside. Gatherings, big or small. Remember, fully vaccinated means two weeks after receiving your final dose. One, two, three. Now, if this feels like a big shift from their previous guidance, you're right, it is. And it leaves many of us with questions about what our lives are gonna look like going forward. First of all, we know that outside is a lot better than inside. So if you're dreaming about a vacation at a busy beach or a pool, you can go for it, no mask required. Also, if you're fully vaccinated, the CDC guidelines now consider it acceptable to go to a friend's house for dinner, even go to a bar, all without a mask. You could catch the latest movie at a theater, you could go to a concert, you could even go to an amusement park if you're fully vaccinated. And even daily activities like working out indoors and going to a religious service, it's all okay according to the CDC with no masks and no physical distancing. Again, everything I just said is for vaccinated people, but it's gonna be almost impossible to know who is and who is not vaccinated. Many places aren't gonna require proof of vaccination. So the unmasked, who may also be unvaccinated, could blend right in. So a lot of this is gonna come down to what the rules are at states and local jurisdictions and businesses. Now the CDC says vaccinated people do still need to wear masks in certain indoor settings, hospitals or nursing homes, as well as public transportation, including airplanes. Immunocompromised people, even if vaccinated, should consult with their doctors before ditching their masks, that's because their immune systems may not have generated the same immune response as other people's. For people who are not vaccinated, and I'm primarily talking about kids under the age of 12 who aren't eligible yet, they still need to wear a mask and they still need to physically distance. The good news is that the vaccines are already making a big difference. At the same time, the pandemic is not over. So let's not take any of this amazing scientific achievement for granted. And remember to get vaccinated when you can.